are you thinking of buying a semi-finished house? I came yet on site to see one of my clients who is in Germany. He bought a house. And, um, yeah. I'm here with um, the contractor who is in charge of the house. And uh, he'll be taking us to, to walk us through to show us what he has done so far on a semi finish. The client bought the house semi finish, and um, um, he is in charge of um, the finish to finish the house to the best. So I will keep you updated. I've done the first video when it was still shell, then it's now the second video. Uh, I will show you what he has done so far and, and when the house is finished I will see come here to show the end result of the house to see how his job is so um so you're welcome to this to, to my channel my name is Dennis Iso so can you just tell us your name again so that other people can know you my name is Mr. Jackson alias CNN yes <laughs> okay. Nigeria Unlimited confirm <laughs> Okay, so uh, before we move to the house, for you to show us what you have done so far, what are the things you should expect before we get there? I should expect the workers on site by now working to finish what is for them as a target. Okay, 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 fantastic. So, so far in the house, what, what and what have you done so far in the house before we get there? Okay, uh, so far uh, what I have done in the house, like I'm going into the living room now, the opposite living room or the, the living room and the three bedroom flat and the staircase. So what I have started doing in that section is that because I discovered that the walls were not in order, they were having waves on the wall. So I decided that I should mold the wall to make it straight and with a plumb. And after remodeling the wall, then I will now use a brickler that will come and then plaster and don't use straw well on finishing rather than board so that the surface will be straight. And when the screeder will come equally, the surface will remain straight. Okay, so um, let me also say this too. Um, when my client bought this house, um, the external part was uh, finished, but the internal part, which means that the wiring was not done, or the, the part, part of the POP was done, but the POP needed to be worked on. The, it was plastered, but was not up to the standard which which um, you want, right? Yes. Okay, so we have to rework, rework it because it's semi-finished. No, that is one thing about buying semi-finished. When you buy semi-finished, you can you can work it to suit what you want, your own kind of standard. So, which is what um, um, uh, our contractor here is doing in this particular house. So, um, so far, they've done. They, I noticed that um, the plaza uh, cements, okay, plaza cements are there okay. with their fillers, then uh, top bone. Uh, now, what we are going to do in the POP section will be because the POP has been done, but there are waves on the POP. We will screen the POPs and then make it and plumb the POPs to see that they are all straight. Now we will fix the corners by the side of the POPs because the corners were not there. But the owner of the building said that we should fix corners to make the building to be very okay for her. Now we are now starting molding the corners in the next few days to come. As the brickler is working and is cleaning plastic, the cottage will take over before the screening. Thank you. Okay. So um, let's go to the building and see what he has done so far. So let's go. So like this place now, um, what are you doing here? I am doing the preparation of the walls. Okay. Remolding the walls. Okay. For bricklayer work to come in. Okay. Okay, okay. Before the screeder will come in. Okay, fantastic. So, so um, this wall that you, the, the, the wall was already plastered before, but why did you now decide to now do all this that you're doing on the wall? Why? Now it be was because the plastered wall was showing milky and it was showing shiny. So the plastering cannot hold on a surface of that nature. So I decided that I should make the surface to be hard for the plastering to go on very well. Okay. Okay, so what do you use in doing all this um, um, 
um, plastering, all this stuff you're doing. What do you what what tools do you use in doing all this? I use cement, I use plaster sand and some chemicals. Okay, okay. So after this now, what what is the next thing? After this, the next thing will be screening. Okay. Before painting. Before painting. Which I am a professional. In my last video, some of my clients asked me of his number. So please listen to his number. Okay. And you can reach me by calling this number 080-2568-0796. My name is Mr. Jackson, the practical engineer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so uh, one thing, I, I like the way um, this, uh, this is a very small kitchen in the dining, in the in the bus quarter and the, the space was well, well managed yes we decided to do this with our table rule because we measure the kitchen and we find out that the kitchen is small so whatever we are going to bring in there should not be able to finish the whole kitchen but still have a space for a fridge and have a space for electric car okay fantastic fantastic a very portable kitchen in the yeah. bus in the bus quarter yes um, this this is a good job i must confess and this is um, a wardrobe, right? Yes, yeah, this is a wardrobe in the BQ. It's a roof stand contained in the main building. Okay, fantastic, 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 fantastic. So I noticed that the wall is white. Why, why is it white? Before, before now it wasn't white, it was just normal cement wall. So why is it white? Uh, what we screeded the wall with uh, plastic powders, white plastic powder and, and paint. Okay. Addition with top bone and other materials. To okay. make the wall to be smooth for painting. Okay, so after this white stuff, now the next thing now we painting. The next thing will be some papering of the wall and priming of the wall before the original paint is applied on top. So this is just to show you the updates of. Um, I will make sure I upload up this video until um, he finishes the whole thing. So this is um, a soccer way. If you observe. All my video I did, um, I, I, that I did on Dallas Court update, I showed you the same place where um, they, they modeled this outside and they are sinking it inside. You hear what the engineer is saying? The thing was up, yes, yes. Uh, but now you guys are sinking it down. Yes. Why, 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 why this method? Because there is, um, this place, there is a place that is enough water in this place, so this concrete it can make it to be solid, okay. and to be perfect. But if you use ordinary block to to do the soccer way, it definitely should not last. But this one should be longer than the ordinary block today. So thank you for always coming to my channel. My name is Dennis So What I do is to give properties that have potentials of appreciating very well. So I decided to come and check this particular house that one of my clients bought in Zalos Court. And the good news is this, watch my next video. I have a good news for you. Zalos Court Phase 2 is out. You can get a land, a 300 square meter and a 500 square meter and also get a terrace in Zalos Court Phase 2. Kindly watch my next video as I give you the updates. Please kindly subscribe. My name is Dennis Tisson.